Hi, welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about some newer products. Um, I caved and finally bought some new stuff from Le Fee and Rouge. And uh, yeah, it really inspired me to hop on this like tomato girl slash strawberry girl makeup trend. And uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. I want something like fresh and light, so I'm going in with my Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum. And I think this is, uh, oh my eyeballs, uh, it's in the shade 30. Uh, this is currently too light for me. I did like three pumps of that. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Drops and just squirt like a whole thing of bronzer in there. And so this is one of those liquidy formulas that require you to mix everything before applying it to your face. It's very much so modeled after the uh, Chanel Le Beige water tint, fresh tint or something like that. I think it's what it's called. And with the one pump of the De Bronzy Drops, this allows this to match me again. So the West Coast is finally out of its excessive heat wave, but now, at least where I am in the Northwest here, ah, uh, that's a uh, smoke in the sky. So it's, it would have been, you know, a nice sunny day today, but there's smoke sitting in the atmosphere. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like that weird kind of orange glow outside and I've had a chronic cough for three days straight now and there's a hurricane on the way. So that's a thing or at least or maybe it's hitting now, like depending on when this, you know, this video goes up. Um, hurricanes don't really hit this far north or even hit like California or Oregon or anything like that. Um, Great, great times we're living in with global warming. God, so depressing. So I'm just gonna spot conceal a little bit with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer here. Just a little bit. I have such a horrible skin purge from my retinol a couple weeks ago. It was like the worst like breakout I've had related to an active in my skincare in a really long time. So I must have had like something building up in my skin there for a while, but yeah. Okay, so complexion is done. I think that looks pretty good, pretty glowy, pretty simple. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some lip liner here really quick. Um, my like first day of my period, so I'm kind of I feel like really like drained and washed out. So I feel like just having a little bit of stuff on my lips. This is um, the NYX lip pencil in the shade uh, Ever or Toujours. Yeah, it's um a newer shade to me. Has a little bit more pink in it. And a little bit of red, which I think will suit this makeup look. Okay, that's good for now. I'm also gonna plop a little bit of Boy Brow by Glossier the shade brown into my brows just a little bit just to give them a little more definition and fluff okay the Le Fee and Rouge just launched a powder bronzer and this is called the Le Powder Bon Mine and so <laughs> few things. So it's one, the packaging is stunning and it really like <laughs> drew me in, you know, like this, like if I were to design makeup, like this is what it would 
this is what it would look like. You know what I mean? Like just when I see like leopard print tortoise shell kind of stuff or things that have like kind of vintage looking floral patterns, like that's all me. And that's all like the brand rouge. So, I mean, it just, every, the entire like rouge aesthetic really speaks to me. Um, but anyways, so first of all, the packaging, like it's luxe, the mirror is incredible. Like I have a handful of luxury makeup products and they, their mirrors don't even compare to this mirror here. And this one is just, it's not even as expensive. I mean, these, this is a luxury makeup brand by a luxury, I wouldn't, would I say that Rouge is a fashion house? But I would say that it's a designer. Maybe? I don't know. My biggest qualm with this product, I haven't tried it yet, but my biggest qualm is that this is the only shade. And I didn't realize that until I was like buying it. Like I was really excited. Like I was like, oh, if somebody's gonna make a really awesome powder, it's gonna be Le Fien Rouge. Um, but this is the only shade. So this is the shade here. It looks a lot lighter on camera because I do have my ring light on it. But as you see, it's like a really beautiful embossing. Like it's a nice neutral shade. So like I said before, it was, I didn't realize that it was the only shade until I was buying it. And even the model had like darker skin and, and they were like advertising like, oh, a universal powder. And I'm like, how is this universal? So I haven't used it before. So we're just gonna see. Um, and I can't imagine that it's gonna be like, ooh, I didn't get this. Oh, my face blended out, hang on. see over here <laughs> um so let me just kind of dab it off I'm gonna use my really big um Sephora Pro Powder 50 brush this is one of my favorite brushes to bronze with because like I'm obviously not the like deepest complected person like I am olive but I'm a very fair olive so yeah I just this is only going to work for a handful of people. And it's really disappointing. Like I thought that Le Fee and Rouge would be a little more inclusive than that. Like I, that's kind of a bummer for me, like to be super excited about something and then realize after the fact that it was the only shade. So, um, you know, let's just uh, keep that in mind here. Um, but it seems to be going on really smoothly. Like, it's not patchy, it's not sticking to anything. Yeah. Ooh, that's really nice. I really like this. But I will say, I don't know, like even if you had a medium, skin tone. I don't know how much this would show up on you or even like bronze you. Like it might chisel your face a little bit. But I don't see how this would be. I don't understand how this is a universal bronzer. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think it is a really nice product. It does appear to be layering really nicely. Like it's not getting muddy at all. Um, and so I am building up significantly more pigment as I layer here. I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and take this into the crease of my eye and then kind of contour that little area right here where my nose meets my eyebrow just for a little more definition. And it's a nice like neutral shade, so it's not gonna pull too yellow or orange on you. Okay, now we're gonna get real tomato-y. Um, so the next product is the Le Palette Visage. This is the face palette. So it comes with three blushes. Looks like you get like two berry-ish kind of colors and then you get a red. It's picking up kind of orange in this lighting right now, but it's a red. And then you get a kind of pinky bronzy highlight color, a uh, champagne highlight, and then you get like a pink 
uh, highlight as well. So here are the three highlights, and as you see, they are very much like a cream formula. They they spread very, very um, evenly, and so on the hand here, so that's what they look like. So I'm going to go in with the pink and the champagne in the middle to go onto my cheeks. And I'm just going to lightly tap on the highest points here. This is tacky, but it doesn't leave like that glossy kind of feel that other cream highlights do. I would say that it's very like elegant, very simple. Um, and it's not like some of their other products where they're kind of the cream to powder finish, the way their um, lip quad palette, lip and cheek quad palette is. This is very much more like emollient highlighter, but it doesn't have any sort of like strong undertone or shimmer to it. The way it kind of looks in the pan here, it doesn't really pick up any type of shimmer. Like it's not gonna look glittery on your face. It's very elegant. And then I'm gonna take the more like bronzy pinky shade and I'm gonna put this on my eyes. So I have seen a lot of reels that Rouge has done where people are putting this on their eyes. And it looks very, very pretty. That is really pretty on the eyes there. Ooh. Yeah, that's like really simple, really elegant. And also like, it seems kind of transparent enough that I could put this on my cheeks, no problem. Yeah, like I thought this would be too dark for my cheeks, but it's not, it's very transparent. So this palette is a lot more versatile than their bronzer. One, because there's more than one shade, but it's actually more like translucent and designed with multiple skin tones in mind, you know? Okay, so there's the highlight part. That's very pretty. Oop. Okay, so here are the blushes. And we'll go ahead and do swatches of those. So you see the difference, this one on the end here is much more of a vibrant berry and this one pulls a little bit more mauve. Well, this one is kind of like an orangey red kind of color. So since this is like that um, strawberry tomato girl kind of thing, I'm going to go in with the like really intense berry and then put the red on top of it and see how this blends out together. So this is a lot different of a formula than the first palette I've tried from Rouge. So the first palette I tried from Rouge, it does feel like a, a cream, but then it has like this light powdery texture to it. Where this Visage palette has a, so much more emollients. Like this is, these are cream products. Okay, that's a little bit blended out. So I'm gonna go in with the red here. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'll take a little bit on my nose. I'm not really one to put blush on my nose too, too much, but you know, it's just a look that we're going for today. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend these together with my brush. I'm using the Sephora Pro Foundation 47 brush for this. This is one of my favorite brushes to use for cream blushes. And as you see, this is blending together seamlessly. Like, it's so pretty. So effortless. And there's no tug or anything, but it's also not emollient in a way where it's slipping and sliding around my face. I'll put a little bit on my forehead here. Yeah, that's definitely the look.
Yeah, I like that. Okay, so zoomed in, you can see how that is sitting on the skin. You see it's just kind of like glowy and polished. Very, It's very thin on the skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing makeup and I don't feel like I have like a tacky highlighter or anything on. Yeah, that's very pretty. I'm just quickly going in with my Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm just doing like a light layer, like not too heavy. I was gonna use my Chanel, but Bones keeps laying on my makeup. <laughs> and I just, I just don't have the heart to move him or keep moving him because I already moved him to get two of my brushes. He's just so cute. He always wants to be part of things. Like when I clean, he like follows me around and sits and watches. He's just such a sweet little guy. Just always wants to be with someone. Okay, now going in to my lip palette. This is the La Palette Le Veux, uh in the shade Signature. And it comes with a berry and mauve, a kind of like mauve brown and a red. And uh, this is that really interesting like cream to powder formula and it really started my rouge obsession. Like this is such a beautiful makeup product. So I'm going in with that red with my Yulane lip brush. And just painting this on. I think I'm gonna go in with the fluffy side. Yeah, I like this side of the brush because it kind of gives you like that instant, like smudged out been kissed kind of look. Ooh, yeah, I love, I love this palette. I love all these makeup products, honestly. Like, they're so good. Like, they're so good. I'm just gonna take that red from the lip palette and just go on to the apples here. Ooh. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look for my tomato girl, strawberry girl, kind of inspired summer look. Like I said before, like this packaging just really drew me in. Like I'm really into the very like French girl makeup aesthetic um, that Rouge like really promotes. And also like, man, it, the only thing I, the only, honestly, the only thing negative I have to say about the Rouge makeup line that I've tried so far, this is an amazing bronzer and it really sucks that it only comes in one shade. Like I just, I just don't get it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it, but I just wish that more people could try it and really enjoy it. Um, the packaging is really luxe. It's really nice. The formula is a very lightweight, non-patchy, neutral kind of color it it goes into the skin seamless like it didn't tug it didn't like get muddy like it it looks really nice with cream products over top of it it's a really nice bronzer the uh visage palette the face palette so luxe so beautiful it's you know everything i was expecting it to be like i've been coveting this for a really long time and i'm happy that i picked it up because it's the perfect like summertime all-in-one face palette and um i'm a really big fan of these cream highlighters and these blushes are so smooth so lightweight they're not too emollient they're not too sticky um, and they seem like they kind of yeah they it feels like it almost all like dries down to a very like thin layer like they all become one but it's not matte. Like it's just, it's so elegantly formulated. 
you know, like it's, this is a really good makeup product. And if you're not new here, then you already know that this is one of my favorite palettes, whether you're using it as a lip product or a blush. Ooh, yeah. Shade Signature in the uh, Le Palette Le Ver, Le Ver? I think I'm saying that right. Um, the Lip Palette, I think it's what it's advertised as. But yeah, I love this. You can actually see my like full, full review of this in my Testing Fancy French Makeup video, which I will link down below. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this and that's kind of what started my obsession with Le Fille and Rouge. But yeah, so that is my strawberry slash tomato girl look using Le Fille and Rouge and I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!